It's Dragonfall, guys, and it is finally, after all those practice games, here it is. Going to deliver you round one, Empire versus Orcs and Goblins. I got a, uh, My opponent is Ryan, and Ryan brought out an impressive Empire list. Now, I get out to Dragonfall, I'm unpacking my army, and then all of a sudden I realize out of everything that I brought, I forgot the fucking camera. So, I was like, shit, my brother goes... Don't worry about it. Just don't do the battle reports. I was like, no, I, I've been doing all these practice games. I might I have to deliver the fucking battle reports for the damn tournament. So he was like, just use your phone. And I was like, all right. So I used my phone, and then my phone battery started dying. And uh, it was a pain in the ass trying to find somebody with a phone charger. <laughs> but I got it all. Um, I'm apologizing right now. This is my disclaimer right now. The pictures are going to be blurry deal with it or else we didn't have a damn battle report to go with anyways um we're gonna go over what ryan brought ryan brought out this is his uh army over here we're playing meeting engagement in the first round so we're in the diagonal and over on the left he has his inner circle knights he has 11 of them with full command the steel icon and then he also has luther huss in that unit um and then in the middle he has a steam tank a big blaster motherfucker in the back over uh behind the the little brick thing he has he, it looks like an organ gun or a hell blaster volley gun whatever they call them but they it is actually just his um we needed to bring a 40 millimeter base item that would be represented as our token and that's what it is um next to the steam tank he does have a unit of hand gunners 20 hand gunners and then they also have a level four uh shadow wizard with them uh, he has a 4-up ward and Dispel Scroll and whatever. That's about it, I think. Uh, next to that, on top of the hill, he has the cannon. I'll pull up a bigger picture. Here you go. Um, it's a cannon, uh, just a regular cannon. And then over here, he has a unit of Demigriffs, just four of them. Uh, no Standard Bearer. He does have a Musician, but no Standard Bearer, no no Champ either. Also, he had um, he has a unit of Great Swords, 23 of them with full command, and a BSB. But they ended up getting pulled off on reserve because we're playing the meeting engagement. So he was not able to bring them out um, just yet. So uh, over here on my side, I'm going to try to run by it really quick. These are the blurry pictures. I have a bunch of blurry pictures. And again, I apologize. But we have Lord Chickenhead here um, with uh, the Armor of Destiny and some other crap sort of might. Um, and then we have over on top there, we have our, one of the Goblin Chariots. Got the two Doom Divers. You can't really see my level two so well, but that's my level two Night Goblin Shaman with Lore of Undeath. Um, over here, I got my Savage Orc Biggins on the left. I got my other Goblin Chariot. Then I have 20, 21 Night Goblins with uh, short bows and fanatics. And uh, that's about it for my side, I believe. I got my yeah, I got a level four. I got my BSB with the Mork's War Banner, and then I got my Orc Lord Boss. Oh, I also have the Trolls, and the Trolls are also put on reserve because they just rolled poorly so uh turn one i actually win the roll off i did run up with chicken head on the vanguard and i decide to actually i did not win first turn i just vanguarded up <laughs> i vanguarded up i put chicken head right up there just facing down the can the cannon because that's what chicken head does best he kills war machines so i put him up there it's going to be his turn first uh he does compulsory moves with his his steam tank does absolutely nothing he declares his charge here with his demigriffs and right now i'm looking at this and i'm like uh, i could probably take a charge from the demigriffs he'll probably get like one or two wounds off if if i'm lucky no wounds off but i'm gonna lose combat and he's gonna chase me down so you know what fuck it i'm gonna flee <laughs> So I, ch I flee Chicken Head. I have to run from the center of his unit, though. And it ends up throwing Chicken Head into the woods. So when Chicken Head gets into the woods, we discover what the mysterious woods were, and it is a fungus forest. So that means stupidity and stubborn if you're goblins. <laughs> oh, that just, that just made my day right there. And, of course, he failed charges. So uh, he moves up a, just a little bit. He's really playing a gun line approach because he doesn't want to... He, he knows he's kind of uh, outmatched on a couple of my guys here. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and do Magic Phase. Magic Phase gets four Power Dice. And uh, the first spell he does, I think I just dispel it. Most of his spells were Hexes anyways. Um, 
So I really, and I don't think he was in range for much, and he really couldn't do much. Shooting phase, he's going to go ahead and shoot his cannon right at my Doom Diver. And I thought I had my Doom Divers out of his line of sight, more or less, but he definitely could clip the corner of this guy. Um, so he goes ahead and he clips it, hits it, wounds it, only does one wound. Um, over here, his Steam Tank is going to go ahead and shoot, and it shoots at my Chariot and right next to the Savages, and it sticks in the mud and does nothing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start. This is basically how the table looks at the end of his turn. He didn't really have a very productive turn one. And I'm going to go ahead and start my turn one orcs and goblins. Failed animosity. Now I failed animosity with my savages. But they have a black orc boss. So the black orc boss goes ahead and kills. And he only kills one guy. Great. Cool. We're still alive. We're going to go. Failed animosity with the goblins. What do the goblins do? They decide they're going to freaking pick a fight with the savages anyways. <laughs> turn one turn one this is what they do ah oh, man so I couldn't do anything they stay still I move up the chariot just a little bit the trolls come up on the board chicken head rallies um, he's stuck in the, in the fungus forest though and uh, that's about it magic phase gets seven power dice well I can't use any of my spells with my level four because he's in the animosity group right now so I go ahead and I do my level two I throw up the harbinger I'm trying to call up an extra summoner um, and he, I choke on the mushroom. That was pretty much the, <laughs> my magic phase there. So, shooting phase. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the Doom Diver into the Demigriffs. And, uh, it does one wound over here. The other Doom Diver just missed totally, like, flew off in the middle of nowhere. It's going to start off his turn, Empire turn two. Empire turn two, he's going to go ahead and charge his Demigriffs into my chariot. I flee with the chariot. So he redirects and charges into Chicken Head. I take it head on with chicken head this time in the forest. Um, that's about it. He didn't do much else moving. Moving. He's going to do um, magic phase. Magic phase against nine power dice. He throws up enfeebling foe. I dispel it. Um, he throws up mystifying miasma onto chicken head. I have to take that one. Actually, I think I dispel it anyways. Yeah, I think I dispelled it with my, uh, my level two. And... Um, that was that. We're going to go into shooting over here. His uh, cannon's going to go ahead and shoot at my Doom Diver. Blows up my Doom Diver. That was going to happen. His steam tank goes ahead and shoots at my chariot again. And I think it only does like one wound or it didn't wound at all again. Um, over here, Mystified Miasma still on. Okay. Over here, his Demigriffs do two wounds onto Chicken Head. Now he charged. He did two wounds. I did a couple wounds back, but he armor saved all of them. And... Uh, I'm stubborn. <laughs> so he's not chasing Chicken Head off. Chicken Head's holding him there. And uh, Chicken Head has one wound left. And it's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn two. Orcs and Goblins turn two, of course. Of course. The trolls are charging it to those to those knights. To the Demigriffs. So uh, nothing you can do about that. And I don't care if they're in the stupid force because they're already stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and they connect, but unfortunately they could only connect this little tip in. Um, and then over here, the savages finally get the chance to move up. Um, the night goblins move up a little bit. I magic phase get seven power dice. I go ahead and I throw up a couple dice and a mushroom onto some skeletons. He's letting it go. Now I'm kind of putting him up here, trying to like pretend like I'm trying to protect my doom divers, even though the doom divers are really not really in that. The one doom diver left is not in that much trouble, but. I'm really doing this so I could get my tokens up because I have the Harbinger and I really want to call up my Terrorgeist. And uh, so I got one token so far. I go ahead and I throw up a couple dice onto Hand of Gork. He lets it go. I pick up the goblins and I put the goblins over here, just barely the left tip out of the forest. Um, it allows the fanatics to come out. The fanatics come exactly eight inches away from the knights. I throw them through the knights and guess what? Every single fanatic fell short. Every single fanatic fell short. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Doom Diver. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Doom Diver into these knights over here. And it drifts off this way and does absolutely nothing. Um, for close combat, close combat, he decides to put the one knight into Chicken Head, the other knight into the trolls. So the one knight swings, does like three wounds. Chicken Head ward saves all three, or armor saved and ward saved all three. The other night, he was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and use that one on Chicken. I was like, well, you already separated them. You have to use them on the trolls. He's like, all right. So he puts them on the trolls, and he fails to wound the trolls because they made all their regens. 
trolls go and they vomit all over the place and they kill off one of the knights. Uh, chicken head goes and puts on like another wound and guess what now I charged I have a rank and I did like three wounds he has to roll he runs he runs away I chase with just chicken head and chicken head or actually I chased them both and they mowed him down chicken head killed him though <laughs> oh man that's awesome uh, and now chicken head is back in the same position to get a charge onto that freaking cannon um, it's gonna go ahead and start off his turn Empire turn three Empire turn three He's going to move his steam tank over here, and uh, he, he, I think that's it. Again, he, he's afraid of moving his, his knights because the fanatics are holding his knights in, and his handgunners really can't do much, um, and his sword masters are kind of out of the way right now. Magic Fizzy gets five power dice, and he throws up, uh, I think this is, this is the one that lowers their movement, and he only gets a one, so their movement's lowered by one on the trolls. He's going to go ahead and do... Um, that was it for that. Um, he's going to go into shooting phase. Shooting phase is steam tank shoots like a steam gun and kills off the two fanatics right there. And then his hand gunners are going to go ahead and shoot. And they shoot at my chariot and they only put on one wound onto the chariot. Um, his cannon over here goes ahead and shoots. And it's shooting at, I think, either chicken head or like trying to hit like a tip of the doom diver on the other one. And it blows itself up. That is awesome. All right. So, now Chickenhead has no target. It's going to be the, my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn three, I think this is. The Fanatic, there was no charges. Um, I was contemplating charging Chickenhead into the guns, but he might get blown up. He might get, like, one lucky wound in. Um, I think I charged, I wanted to charge the Chariot into the, into the handgunners. That might have happened, actually. Anyways, this Fanatic killed himself. He got doubles. The trolls moved up just a bit. Um, they they are still in the bubble of the leader, which is just like at the tip of 12 inches. And then um, we found out these trees were wildwoods, and the wildwoods started killing off my goblins. Killed off one goblin here. Uh, Magic Phase got nine power dice. Going to go ahead and throw up a couple dice onto Gaze Mork. He stops it. Throw up a bunch of dice onto Hand of Gork. He stops it. Um, and then I go ahead and I throw up a couple more dice onto Grave Call. I get it off. But at the cost of my freaking Night Goblin here. He chokes on the Mushroom. I think it was Irresistible Force. Choke on the Mushroom. Kills him. But the, the damn skeletons go up. That sucks. Um, over here, going to go shoot the Doom Diver into the Knights. Kills off one Knight. And then I did charge this guy in. He, uh, he charged in. He kills four handgunners just on impact hits. He did a stand and shoot. Didn't wound me. Um, I go ahead and I hit. <clears throat> um... I do my, actually that was it, huh? Oh, no, no, it wasn't. So I did the impact hits, it did four wounds. Then I go ahead and I swing with my goblins who have spears right now. And they ended up doing uh, two more wounds. And then the dogs did nothing. Over here I moved chicken head just in his way, more or less, um, to chaff up his sword masters. And sure enough, his turn, he's going to go ahead and charge in. Now, I don't know why I... I could have done this differently. I could have made him do like another fail charge again. Um, I don't know. Maybe I had more faith in Chicken Head, but I was hope I was holding him down just to hopefully keep him here for about a turn or two, so that way the trolls could get into the hand gunners. But uh, he charges in. Chicken Head's going to be there. Um, his cannon turns or his steam tank turns around, tries to ram my chariot, and it just falls like an inch and a half too short. So the steam tank's going to sit there. His knights finally get a chance to move up a little bit, but he doesn't really capitalize on it. He's still, you know, he's hoping, he, he had the opportunity to charge the, the goblins, and he was like, ah, the trees will kill the goblins. Um, and sure enough, the trees killed like four or five goblins. And it's going to cause them to flee in panic, and they start running off the board. Um, Magic Phase, get, he gets five power dice. He goes in and throws up a couple dice into four to, uh, whatever, Enfeebling Foe. He lowers my... Troll strength by two. That sucks. And then uh, he does smoke and mirrors, which he switches out his wizard who's in danger with the chariot and throws him into the other side. And the BSB is thrown over here. And that happens. Uh, close combat. Close combat. The chariot ends up killing off two guys. And the they end up doing one wound onto the chariot. Over here, he ends up doing um, chicken hand, ends up killing off three sword masters. 
sword masters go or great swords and the great swords go and they end up killing off chicken head one wound gets off luckily and kills him off it's going to start off orcs and goblins turn four now as you can see i kind of have like multiple things going on i got i got a, a good charge right now from the trolls to the handgunners or the trolls to the sword masters i got a good charge from the savages into the steam tank and I also have a charge with the chariot into the hand or into the sword masters. Now I was thinking in my mind, I'm thinking move the trolls into the hand gunners so that way they stay close to the leader, and then after they kill off the hand gunners, chase them down, they could turn around and go for the steam tank, right? I was also so I was thinking, well, I could use the chariot as chaff for the for the sword masters and just kind of ram it. Hopefully, it sticks around or whatever, right? So I go. And the trolls needed, I think, like a six or a seven. They rolled one inch under, so they fail charge, and they they don't get in. The chariot gets in, the savages get in, and it's going to be a clusterfuck right now. Uh, magic phase gets six power dice. I go ahead and I throw up a couple dice onto Eerie Go, and I fail it, and that just stops my magic phase. Okay, gonna go ahead and shoot the Doom Diver into this unit with Luther Huss and his Inner Circle Knights, and it kills like four of them causes a panic check now he does have his bsb closer so and his leader is luther huss his luther huss leadership is eight he rolls a 10 so he's like ah oh, shit let me re-roll with the bsb it's just in range he re-rolls it again he gets a 10 again and his guys just run off the board that doom diver just took out a huge chunk of points <laughs> holy shit <laughs> that's crazy he just took out like 330 points by himself with one shot that is nuts they just ran off the board um over here impact hits from the chariot kills off four guys the, the guys go and they end up killing off my goblins um now over here for the steam tank my general goes he has always strikes first weapon strength six on the charge with choppas and he does two wounds okay it's hard to tell to wound a fucking steam tank. It's toughness six with one up armor, right? So then he, my savages go and they don't, they do nothing. They don't wound it at all. Now I do have my savage orc shaman in there and I really want to give him the fucking fist of gork so he gets plus three strength. But my magic fail, my magic phase was fail. So my BSB. Um, he goes and he has a great weapon and he ends up putting on three more dinks into the armor and it's at five wounds remaining um, and that is going to be the end of my turn I believe he might have killed my chariot up there maybe maybe not um, but that does cause an issue where my guys aren't moving I lost choppas but I still have frenzy and it's gonna start off his turn his turn Empire turn five He's going to charge his sword masters into my trolls. And now my trolls give him a side flank because they failed their fucking charge. And sure enough, they get in there. Okay? Now, his magic phase, he gets 10 power dice, which is just ridiculous. Alright? He goes ahead and he throws up four sixes <laughs> on Enfeebling Foe onto the trolls. So he lowers their strength. Right? He does smoke and mirrors. So his wizard switches places with his BSB again. Um... And then uh, he goes ahead and I think that's it. He does a bunch of other stuff. I think I might have dispelled one or two of them. Or he lost his power dice from the, the enfeebling foe. That's probably what it was. Anyways, close combat, close combat. He finally kills off my chariot. Um, he did the one wound he needed to do. Um, over here, close combat. My boss goes, fails to wound it. My savages go, fail to wound it. My shaman goes, fails to wound it. My BSB goes, does two more wounds onto the tank. Okay. Um, now, I believe that's it for his turn. Oh, no, 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 no. He does the combat with the... I don't have a picture of this, I just realized. But what happens is, he did the side flank with the trolls. Oh, I do have a picture of it. He ended up doing maybe like two wounds or three wounds. And he did a side charge. He has ranks. He has a banner. He has a BSB. And the charge. My trolls are going to fail their leadership check to stick. 
and they're going to run, and he ends up chasing down my trolls. There's a picture. He, he chased down the trolls. So, <clears throat> now it's going to be my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn 5. I go straight into magic because everybody's kind of stuck in combat right now. 5 power dice. Or, sorry, 5. Set 8 power dice. I go ahead and I throw up 3 on Here We Go. Get it off. He, he dispels it. I throw out Hand of Gork. He dispels it. I saved a bunch of dice for Fist of Gork. He dispelled it with the Dispel Scroll. That sucked. Alright. <clears throat> throw the Doom Diver into the Sword Masters. Killed off 3 Sword Masters. Does nothing really. Um, gonna go ahead, head over here. I should have shot it at the Hand Gunners. Whatever. Um, I, I go over here. The Lord fails to wound it. The Savages fails to wound it. The fucking Shaman fails to wound it. My BSB does a couple more wounds onto it. The tank has one wound left. And only my BSB is chinking at its armor. It's going to start off his turn. Empire turn 6. Empire turn 6. He moves his guys closer. Or I think he actually fail charge over here. Um, into my side of my Savages. Magic phase gets 9 power dice, and he goes in and he throws up Enfeebling Foe onto these guys. He gets it off too. Then he goes in and throws up, um, or I'm sorry, one on them Enfeebling Foe. He throws up Mystifying Miasma, lowers them by 2. Now, he's going to start off close combat, close combat. He's he's trying to grind me with his, his tank and everything. I think he killed off maybe like 5 guys total. I have a 5 up ward. He keeps on trying to throw his little uh, guy out of the tank and shoot my Shaman. But it only did one wound out of every round we've been in combat so far. So I'm going to go ahead and swing with all my guys. They all fail and miss. I swing with my war boss. He fails and miss. I swing with my shaman. He fails and miss. My freaking BSB with his great weapon goes and kills the fucking tank. Finally. <laughs> Damn. That sucked. That, that took way too long. And uh, I have the option of reforming. These guys who fail charge me. I actually reformed like this so I could kind of like pick my target on who I want to charge. But um, it is going to be my turn next. And I'm going to go ahead and it's my turn. Orcs and Goblins turn 6. The closer unit is actually the sword mat or great swords. So I'm going to go ahead and charge them. I'm probably like 6 inches away right now. From closest edge to closest edge. He's going to flee. When he flees... All I need to do is roll two higher than him. So I needed to roll, after he fleed, I needed to roll a 10, 11, or 12 to catch him. And I don't. And I fail charge. And that, my friends, is the end of the game. It's an Orcs and Goblins victory. I still had, uh, my, ho my main block of Savages was majority of my points. He does have his BSB. He does have his Wizard still. He does have the Sword, the Great Swords, um, and the Hand Gunners. <clears throat> but uh, I have the Doom Diver, the Savages... And I don't think, I think that might be it. I didn't win by much, but I know I won. I won by, it, it was like a 12-8 victory. And then I got extra points for object, uh, secondary objective uh, things. But, uh, so I got 14 points. So, if the trolls wouldn't have failed the charge, I, it would have been a slaughter. Um, and, uh. I'm, I'm surprised my guys did as, as well as, as they did. Um, I needed to use Chicken Head a little bit better against the Swordmasters and just kind of, again, chaff him up or kind of force him to fail charge into the direction where the trolls could have charged him. Um, but that didn't happen. Anyways, uh, it was a very fun game, and uh, I'm glad that it kind of went the way it did. I got my uh, vic first victory in the Dragonfall, and... Um, more or less as for mvp this is a tough one this is the one i was going over at dinner and talking to people like who would you make the mvp of this game because to me there's three mvps in this game there's three people who made me win this game one is chicken head because he was stubborn in the forest okay and he's just that damn lucky and chicken head mowed down the demigriffs okay and the demigriffs themselves are 232 points two is my bsb because my BSB alone, single-handedly, destroyed that fucking tank. And the tank was 250 points. And three is my Doom Diver. And my Doom Diver shot fucking Luther Huss's group and made him run off the table. And between Luther Huss and the Inner Circle Knights, which I lost their page, that's actually a lot more points. So that's like 340 points or something like that. I wanted to give it to all three of them. Looking at the numbers right now, I'm giving it to the Doom Diver. The Doom Diver just f 
fucked up a good chunk of his points. It fucked up his opportunity to side flank my my savages because you knew the savages were gonna stick there for a round. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it to I'm giving it to the Doom Diver. The Doom Diver saved the game. <laughs> Way to go, Doom Diver! So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had um my we had Dan, Todd, and my brother Jesse. We were all at this tournament. My brother Jesse got a massacre win against his opponent, um, like a 22 and 0 or something like that. Uh, I believe Dan might have. I think he either might have won or lost this game, but it was a close game. Um, and then Todd got uh, faced off against the number one guy, and he got crushed. So um, we're gonna go ahead into round two. Round two, I ended up facing off against uh, high elves. And that game will be coming up very soon. Um, anyways, guys, if you have any comments or feedback, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have uh, any disagreement on my on my MVP, just leave it in the comment section. And I would love to see what you guys have to say. And then um, if you have any, uh, any kind of uh, feedback on my tactics at all, just let me know. And this is how I learned, to be honest. If you guys have any uh, anything else you want to add, just go for it. I'll be putting up the videos very soon, very shortly, and uh, if you haven't, hit the like and subscribe, do so already, and if you want to donate, that way I can get some batteries for the camera I forgot to bring, <laughs> uh, you can go onto my page and uh, my channel and do so. Anyways guys, take care, until the next video, peace.